2003, Infinity War released a brand new game and it was Call of Duty back in 2003. It started off quite small and it was innovative. An FPS set in World War II and it was amazing. Then in 2005 came the highly awaited Call of Duty 2 and at the time it was so underrated. Then in 2006, Treyarch released their first major card game and it was COD 3 back in 2006. Then a year later, we saw the release of COD 4. Modern warfare was so good, it's what we'd always asked for. Then in 2008, Treyarch released World at War, a classic game to all COD fans, Nazi zombies with snowboard. Then in 2009, Infinity Ward came out with their second Modern Warfare back in 2009. Moving on a year, Treyarch released Black Ops A series that we know and love and it was sure to blast off Infinity War then came out with the final Modern Warfare Completing the trilogy, a set of great games that they made there Then in 2012 came Black Ops 2 Treyarch did a good job and we all loved it Back in 2012 Downfall of COD People hated ghosts Maps too big and people died too quickly Back in 2013 Then Sledgehammer Games Stepped up and tried to redeem it Was jumping around everywhere It made me wanna rage quit it Was no better than ghosts Although they tried to make it God's futuristic now, more than we've ever seen it now in 2016. We have Black Ops 3, we'll see if it lives up to what it's supposed to be. It is much better than the last two card games that we see. Another great card game to go back down in history later in 2016. We'll see the release of a brand new card game that is released yearly later in 2016. In 2016, what will it be? Will it be another futuristic Call of Duty? Please give us what was old. Back in 2003, Infinity War released a brand new game and it was Call of Duty. Back in 2003. Back in 2003 Back in 2003 Infinity War released a brand new game and it was Call of Duty Back in 2003